Let's see what we have. Did you need something? Do you have some time? Is there something on your mind? The Commander of the Inquisition and the Herald of Andraste. That will have people talking. Oh, you wouldn't believe how quickly gossip spreads through the barracks. Does it bother you? I would rather my... our private affairs remain that way. But if there were nothing here for people to talk about, I would regret it more. Think you could slip away? I believe so. Wait for me. From Haven's fire come we, the able true. What's going on? See you later, Bo. Nice talking with you, boss. 
Inquisitor. Something on? I'll be back if I need you. Go on. Cresswood has had no further trouble with it. We have to reach the Empress before Corythius. The only question is, how? We know how. I have our way in. The real question is, where is our enemy hiding? At the urging of Grand Duchess Florian, the Empress is holding a ball. Absolutely everyone will be there. During the festivities, Céline will be meeting for peace talks with the usurper Duke Gaspard and Ambassador Briala. The assassin must be hiding within one of these factions. What do we know about Duke Gaspard? The man who would have been emperor. He's Céline's cousin, and was first in line to inherit the throne when Emperor Florian died. Céline outmaneuvered him. She won over the Council of Heralds, who hold authority over title disputes. She became empress, and he a general in the Imperial Army. He's well loved by the troops. He's also a chevalier. Most of their number sided with him when he turned on the Empress. Who is this Ambassador Briala? An ambassador in name only. She has organized the elves of Halam Sheral into an underground army. The Empress invited her to the peace talks in a bid to gain the elves' alliance in the war. That would be scandal enough, without the rumor that Briala is a jilted lover of Selene's. A personal grudge and a network of sabotage at her command? <laughs> Promising lead. Wait, the elven leader is a jilted lover of the Empress. It's not widely known. Just a rumor whispered among the palace servants a few years ago. If it's true and where to get out. The Empress and an elf. <laughs> the scandal could destroy Celine's court. Even if a lie, Briella could use it to blackmail the Empress. She has some connection to the throne. Tell me everything we know about the Empress. Empress Celine is a renowned diplomat and reformer. She works tirelessly to secure peace for the Empire. Unfortunately, many Orlesians view peace as complacency. She has yet to name an heir, leaving the future of the Empire in doubt if anything happens to her. Especially when the next in line is her cousin Gaspard, who's made few friends on the Council of Heralds. Selene is surrounded at all times by countless guards, courtiers, servants, and vassals. What better place for an assassin to hide than the Empress's own household? How can Gaspard still be next in line while he wages war against his Empress? The title Grand Duke indicates that he was a prince before the Empress took the throne. You've given me plenty to think about. With Gaspard and Selene's armies entrenched, we cannot openly march troops to the palace. My agents will ensure your soldiers get inside. But it must be a few at a time to avoid attention. Understood. Just give the word, and we'll begin.
The political situation in Halamshiral hangs by a thread. The Empress fears our presence could sever it. The Grand Duke is only too happy to have us at the ball as his guests, so our invitation comes from him. Whether we act as his allies or upset the balance of power, he gains an opportunity, if not a clear advantage. It is a great pleasure to meet you, Inquisitor Lavellen. Bringing the Templars into your ranks was not just a brilliant military move, but a clever political ploy as well. Imagine what the Inquisition could accomplish with the full support of the rightful Emperor of Orlais. I can see many benefits to such an alliance. Keep the image firmly in mind. We may see it materialize by the end of the evening. I am not a man who forgets his friends, Inquisitor. You help me, I'll help you. My lady, are you prepared to shock the court by walking into the Grand Ball with a hateful usurper? They will be telling stories of this into the next age. It's a pleasure to meet you, Duke Gaspard. I look forward to ending this civil war. As do I, my friend. The Empire needs stability and security now more than ever. If you have the safety of the Orlesian people at heart, Inquisitor, perhaps you will look into something for me. This elven woman, Briala, I suspect that she intends to disrupt the negotiations. My people have found these ambassadors all over the fortifications. Sabotage seems the least of their crimes. That sounds like something I should look into. Be as discreet as possible. I detest the game, but if we do not play it well, our enemies will make us look like villains. We're keeping the court waiting, Inquisitor. Shall we? Is that the Inquisitor? An elf savage! Oh, make a forbid! This is Caspar's idea of a joke. You there! Rabbit! Have you seen a ring anywhere? It was a gift from the Comtesse Montbelliard, enchanted by the Fomari. I cannot go into the ball without it. That's a terrible predicament. If the Comtesse finds out, make her have mercy. Should you happen upon it, I beg you, let me know.